Welcome everyone to my channel, Anupalsar Studio Class. Today I will discuss most and most important topic of stereochemistry. That is the prediction of R and S. If a chiral atom is there, if a chiral center is there, then whether it is R or whether it is S, you can easily predict by applying this trick. So for that, you know what is chiral center? Chiral center means the carbon atom which has four different groups. Okay, so let's start with examples. Suppose we have lactic acid. Lactic acid, you know, two hydroxy propanoic acid. Lactic acid to hydroxy propanoic acid. So, in this case, this chiral, this carbon is known as the chiral carbon, as it is denoted by star chiral carbon. Why? Because four different groups are attached. Four different groups are attached. This portion, this bold portion, is known as the Above the plane part, if the board is plane, if the board is plane, then OH group is like that towards you above the plane. H opposite side that is below the plane, that is why indicated by dotted line. And these two are on the plane like that. On the plane. Got my point? So this is flying wedge conformation where two groups are present on the plane, one group is above the plane towards you and another group is below the plane. Now we need to give priority in these four groups, priority. How can we get, give the priority? Higher atomic number will be more prior. Note down this point, higher atomic number will be more prior. So that is why oxygen, obviously attached with carbon, oxygen among these four has higher atomic number, that is why it is symbolized as one. And hydrogen obviously four. This is two, this is three. You can ask me how sir, how can you understand? C double H will be two, this is also carbon, this is also carbon. Yeah, but the next atom is hydrogen and the next atom is oxygen. Got my point? So, if this portion is there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 different groups are there and higher atomic number will be higher prior in nature. So, now fourth prior group, fourth prior group is below the plane. So note down one thing, if fourth prior group is below the plane, then one, two, three, one, two, three, clockwise rotation, clockwise rotation will be symbolized as R. If fourth prior group is below the plane, note down, then one, two, three, clockwise rotation will be R. And if fourth prior group is below the plane, then one, two, three, anti-clockwise rotation, anti-clockwise rotation will be named as S. Okay? And suppose you are watching a fan from below the plane, like anti-clockwise, then if you see that from above the plane, from below the plane if it is anti-clockwise, then if you see that from above the plane, it would be clockwise, isn't it? Isn't it? So that is why if fourth prior group is below the plane, then these rules are applicable. Clockwise rotation would be R, anti-clockwise rotation would be S when the fourth 
prior group is below the plane. But what if the fourth prior group is above the plane? So if the fourth prior group is above the plane, then 1, 2, 3 anticlock ban jayega is a anticlock ban jayega are 1, 2, 3 anticlock rotation will be R when the fourth prior group is above the plane. So write down if the fourth prior group is above the plane, then 1, 2, 3 anticlockwise rotation will be R. And if fourth prior group is above the plane, clockwise rotation will be S. You can niche se hum ek fan ko agar clockwise rotate karte karte pe dekhenge, to agar upar se dekhenge to wo anticlock ho. Okay, so now apply this formula for the prediction whether it is R or S. R is optical, S is optical. Fine, as it is optically active. अगर कोई भी कंपाउंड ऑप्टिकली एक्टिव हो तभी उसका आर या एस हम डिटरमिन कर सकते हैं सिंपल इथेन वी कैन नॉट सिंपल मीथेन वी कैन नॉट व्हाट माय पॉइंट फोर डिफरेंट हैंड शुड बी देयर दैट मींस फोर डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स शुड बी देयर फाइन सो 1 2 3 आई एम मूविंग हियर 1 2 3 क्लॉकवाइज रोटेशन isn't it? 1, 2, 3, clockwise rotation and the fourth prior group is below the plane. I have mentioned you, if dotted portion is there, that means below the plane. So, below the plane, fourth prior, 1, 2, 3, clockwise. That means it is R. Below the plane, fourth prior, 1, 2, 3, clockwise. That means it is R. That means I have written the R form of lactic acid. Is it clear? I have written the R form of lactic acid. Okay, so let us take another example. Suppose carbon is there. At random, four groups I have taken. Four different groups I have taken. So which one will be one? Higher atomic number will get a higher preference. That means fluorine will be one. Oxygen will be two. Carbon will be three. And hydrogen will be four. Got it? So this is below the plane, this is, these two are on the plane and this is above the plane. So now what to do? Now, priority I have given, now we need to apply my formula. That is 1, 2, 3, apply the 3, 1, 2, 3, kaise ja hai? Clockwise, 1, 2, 3, clockwise, but fourth prior group is above the plane but fourth prior group is above the plane isn't it that is why above the plane clockwise kya hoga r s hoga agar fourth prior group above the plane then one two three Clockwise will be S. So that is why this compound has the S configuration. Okay. So fourth prior, agar above mein rahega, kya hoga malum hai? Fourth prior, agar below mein rahega, kya hoga malum hai? So we can predict the R and S portion. Is it clear? Now you can question me that Sir What we 
will be the name of this compound, name method R ya S name to hume malo me hai, 2 hydroxy propanoic acid hai lekin yaha par jo fourth prior group hai wo on the plane pe hai 1, 2, 3, 4 fourth prior group is present here on the plane then what to do? Then from flying wedge, we need to convert it. We need to convert it in fissure projection. Fissure projection, what is that? Fissure projection means two D portion. Fischer projection is denoted like that. It is 2D portion. That means vertical is below the plane and horizontal line is above the plane. Vertical is below the plane and horizontal line is above the plane. It is not like flying wedge. Flying wedge is 3D but Fischer is 2D. Got it? So now we have to convert it because if we convert from flying wedge to fissure, then either the fourth pair will be above or either the fourth pair will be below. Because what I have taught you that fourth prior group should be present in above the plane or below the plane. But here fourth prior group is present on the plane. On the plane. What my point? So, first of all, we need to write the groups who are present on the plane. Who are present on the plane. So, OH group is present on the plane, H is present on the plane, and I have written this. Okay? Now, from this portion to make it straight, look at that. From this portion to make it straight, I have moved it in the right side. To this portion to make it straight, I have moved it in the right side. That is why above the plane portion should be opposite side. So, whatever. What I have done? I have done to make it straight. Is to kya bana hai? Is side pe hume ghumana pada hai? Isn't it? Because this portion was like that. So to make it straight, in which direction you are moving the above the portion group will be in the opposite place. So that's why CH3 should be there and C double H should be there. Got it? To make it straight, in which direction I will move the above the portion, the group present in above the portion will move in the opposite direction. Will move in the opposite direction. Here. Yeah? So now you can give the preference 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 and in this case H is placed below the plane. In this case H is present vertically that means below the plane. So we don't need to worry. Now 1, 2, 3 clockwise. Move 1, 2, 3 clockwise and below the plane fourth prior clockwise rotation will be termed as Below the plane fourth prior clockwise rotation will be termed as R. But I have just said earlier. So that is why again I have written here R form of lactic acid. R form of lactic acid. Is it clear? So I hope if you watch this video till the end then you can get clear idea regarding the prediction of R and S from configuration 
of any chiral compound. I have discussed here the chiral center, only one chiral center it has. In my next video, obviously, I will discuss when more than one chiral center is present. This type of question is very much important for your exam purpose. Normally, board exam pe kya aata hai? Board exam pe either fourth prior you will have in above the plane or below the plane. But for competitive career, it may happen that the fourth prior group may be present on the plane. So just apply the trick. Jis taraf usse straight karne ke liye move karayenge, opposite mein above the plane ko move karayenge. Okay? Ye is taraf tha, is liye is taraf move kiya straight banane ke liye, to above the plane jo group hai, wo opposite pe chala jaye. Is it clear? So this is the end of this video. I hope you like it. For more interesting videos in more complex topics in a simplified manner, please subscribe and thank you for watching.